Hello, my fellow people. Today, I am going to show you my personal favorite, absolute favorite secret base door. I'm not going to show you how to build the inside because obviously you get to choose what you want to do with your builds. But I'm going to show you and suggest this really cool door. As you can see, it's closed right now. But if I push this button, then the water will pour down. It has nothing to do with it. It's completely vanilla. So if you come over here, you can see that it's open there. If you come over here, get your redstone torch, place it anywhere, the door's gone. Isn't that amazing? Then you get the redstone torch back, too. Alright, everybody. Step one. Gather the materials. The dirt is there just for some extra building blocks. You need 12 repeaters, one comparator five redstone torches maybe three extra 12 sticky pistons one hopper and three droppers all right for step two for step two we need to find a good spot and dig out this area build this this bear it on it Start out the back. Another few blocks. And have repeaters be faced into it. Then have two blocks here. Blocks tall. Have more repeaters going into those blocks. Do a one tick delay on both sides. You might need to adjust that depending on the other variables. And connect it redstone dust. You only really need to connect one side to the back. And then test it with a redstone torch. See if you need feeders. If it does that, then just add another tick delay like I did here. Test it a few times. On to step three. This is the T flip flop. Is gonna go pretty fast because they're running out of video time. So take your droppers and a hopper. Make sure it's droppers, not dispensers, because that'll cause problems. Depending on what item you use. Then have a comparator looking into the top one with a Peter into the back, and then time for step four, the uh, redstone torch key. Sounds complicated, but honestly, it's really not. It's just taking the power from the redstone torch. Make sure there's a one tick delay there, too. Also, have an item in the droppers. This, I don't think, works in bedrock. So, have like a piece of rotten flesh or something you don't care about in there. And then, make sure you also remember where you have your redstone torch key. Otherwise, you're going to be very sad. Cover that up, and go down into the your fort, find a good spot for your button, make sure it doesn't go into the water above, like here, but here's an easy fix. Next, you're going to want to find the other side of where your Find the other side, uh, like the input of your redstone torch key, and then build a redstone torch tower 
and make sure however tall you build it have the top one be off like automatically and have two blocks above it with redstone dust leading into it. This will make sure that it works. And over here I'm gonna just put the dirt back and then place the redstone key. It opens, go down, press the button, it closes. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed. That is my instructional video. And that's that's it. Hope you use it for good because this is a very sneaky, sneaky, sneaky trick for hiding your base. So thank you and goodbye.